For my D3 RIBA studio certificate project, I interpreted the art gallery brief where I was asked to provide accommodation for the permanent collection of an artist of my choice. Working in Aberdeenshire, I drew inspiration from the local coastal fishing villages in the northeast. Joan Eardley, one of Scotland's most renowned painters of the 20th century, most recognised for paintings of lost Scottish tenement communities. More importantly, she painted the wild, beautiful and coastal landscapes. During my time in practice, the projects I had worked on were small domestic house extensions to new build one-off houses. With this in mind, I wanted to develop my design training through complex and challenging urban sites, which led me to find a former bakery and a collection of derelict lodges fronting the beautiful beach in Stonehaven, Aberdeenshire. At the site analysis stage of the project, I began constructing a physical model of the site and the surrounding context. This helped immensely with the design process, underst understanding and getting to grips with the massing of surrounding buildings, how shading played a part, the orientation of the sun was also very important when designing an art gallery to avoid the direct sunlight and UV rays from damaging artworks. The initial concept designs were created through sketches without using any form of CAD. This is important to keep fluidity and creativity at the forefront of design. I began creating massing concept models and placing them within the site that I had created to understand what was working and what wasn't. I presented my initial designs proposals to my personal tutor who I met on a bi-weekly basis, but also presented my work to my colleagues and office mentor, gaining valuable feedback and knowledge from my peers. This was sort of my aha moment where they explained to me to look at existing vernacular and try to harmonize a contemporary form with the existing context. Looking at existing boat sheds that scatter the coastline and also looking at the local materials, which is a deep sandstone red native to Stonehaven. My personal tutor asked me to experiment with materials and create something from my findings of the local context. This is where I began experimenting with pigmented concrete resin and the existing environment around me, such as the local pebbles on the beach. This process led to innovative ways of creating the roof structure as well as the gallery finishes. The art gallery interior of the pink pigmented concrete lattice structure echoed the fishing nets early once painted and the beach pebble floor coated in clear resin gave the effect of walking across a pebble beach from within the art gallery space itself. The external space took the form of over-exaggerated boat sheds clad in a dark red metal shingle, drawing inspiration from the local sandstone and slate pitch roofs. Through consistent reviews of my personal tutor, I took the bold move to push the gallery space underground, freeing up circulation space through the site and the external forms acting as deep light wells for north-facing natural light to stream down into the gallery space below. Design reviews of my personal tutor really helped me realise the potential of thinking more fluidly with my design intent. The success of the project was down to consistency and time management. I would meet my tutor every two weeks and would increase the design reviews to weekly as we got closer to the submission dates. Setting time aside away from practice and the RIBA studio project was important to get balance, but also incorporate architectural site visits amongst annual leave was very beneficial to me. This was an insight into my D3 RIBA certificate project I hope this is beneficial for you. Thank you.